Welcome to British Biomedicine Institute. Today we will explore retinal imaging in radio diagnosis. Retinal imaging takes a digital picture of the back of your eye. It shows the retina where light and images hit the optic disc, a spot on the retina that holds the optic nerve, which sends information to the brain and blood vessels. Acular imaging technologies allow quantitative assessment of the posterior segment to detect changes in the optic nerve head ONH, the nerve fiber layer NFL, and the macula that are associated with glaucoma. Retinal imaging facilitates early identification of the follow ocular diseases diabetic retinopathy glaucoma age-related macular degeneration Retinal vascular changes Retinal detachment Retinal imaging can expose symptoms of age-related macular degeneration, including fluid leakage or bleeding in the rear of the eye. Age-related macular degeneration is one of the primary culprits in vision loss for patients over age 50. Optometrist inspect your eye through colon. Optical coherence tomography. Fundus photography. And geography. Optical coherence tomography OCT, has revealed the following subretinal fluid in RVO and DME. Vitreomacular traction as the cause of primary full thickness macular hole. Macular sizes as a manifestation of vitreomacular interface disease. Macular sizes as a manifestation of optic nerve disease. Ultrasounds. Use silent sound waves to get real-time view of the inside of your eye. They can be particularly useful when there is bleeding inside the eye, which can make it difficult for an eye doctor to spot the signs of retinal detachment, retinal tears or other retinal conditions. Two different scans, NA scan and B scan, can be used to get different information about the retina and other tissues inside the eye. Digital retina screenings offer an alternative, without the extreme light sensitivity and blurry vision that can follow pupil dilation for several hours. They also offer a wider field of view, about four to five times that provided by standard viewing instruments that require a dilated pupil. Retinal imaging can reveal damage to the optic nerve caused by excess pressure or increased pressure on blood vessels in this area. Early detection of glaucoma is crucial, as it can often lead to permanent vision loss for the patient. Fundus photography can be performed with colored filters or with specialized dyes including fluorescein and indocyanine in green. An eye and orbit ultrasound uses high-frequency sound waves to measure and produce detailed images of your eye and eye orbit, the socket in your skull that holds your eye. Ophthalmologists can also check for other abnormal changes, such as the formation of new blood vessels or leakage in this part of the eye. Swelling in the retina is also a common sign of diabetic retinopathy. High-resolution images of the retina can reveal early signs of cancer in the eye, such as dark spots that indicate a melanoma. When these symptoms are noticed early, patients can undergo diagnostic testing and seek treatment promptly to prevent cancer from spreading to other parts of the body. Fundus photos are similar to digital retinal images, but they usually require pupil dilation beforehand. They also capture a smaller amount of surface area inside the eye. The images are usually used to compare the progression of an eye disorder over time. Fluorescein and geography test involves injecting dye into the bloodstream then taking pictures of the inner eye. It is usually used to monitor the retinal effects of diabetes, hypertension or macular degeneration. 3D OCT is the latest, most advanced technology to view and analyze the retina. More advanced than retinal photography, which can only view the surface of the retina, the OCT enables us to view the individual layers of the retina. The scan is non-invasive painless, simple and quick. The OCT also provides us with highly useful information about other parts of your eye. For example, 
It is capable of detecting small areas of swelling that can occur at the back of your eye in macular degeneration, as well as any small retinal holes, tears or cysts that may be present. Indocianian green angiography ICG, is an another excellent method for visualizing retinal circulation. In contrast to fluorescein angiography, ICG is of particular value in studying choroidal circulation while investigating macular disease. This test only takes a few minutes to perform. Diffuse illumination is a simple illumination method for examining the eye and surrounding structures. Slit width should be set to maximum magnification to low in light at approximately 45 degree. Using infrared light instead of typical white light can provide more distinct images of certain portions of the eye. This can be particularly beneficial in patients with developed cataracts. Thank you for showing interest in British Biomedicine Institute skilled nano degree program. Hope you have gained a lot of clinical information through this presentation. Please share, like, and subscribe, British Biomedicine Institute channel, good luck.